Thank you, professors. Session number four, titled by International Diabetes Federation. I would like to invite the chairman to the stage, Professor Abdelaziz Al Madani, Professor Aidil Abdelaziz, Professor Jamal Bel Khadir, Professor Louise Gardet. Professor Massimo Massi Benedetti, Professor Nam Han Shaw, Professor Nizar Al Bash, Professor Shahinaz Karadini. Session number four. <laughs> This is the uh, International Diabetes uh, Federation session. So just uh, those of you who are familiar with the IDF, I'd like to give you a little bit of background in, in a minute or 30 seconds. We are fortunate, and it also tells that how important this AASD meetings are. We have a re two regional chairs here. In IDF, they uh, encompass the seven regions, just like WHO. We have a, Europe, a chair of Europe sitting, Shana sitting? Yes. Oh, she's over there. And uh, we have a chair from uh, uh, the Lina. You may be past chair sitting right next to me, Adele. And uh, we have a vice president sitting in the middle, Louis. And the far left side of uh, vice president, uh, I guess, former vice president, uh, Massimo. Who else is there? Oh, okay, yeah, we'll call you from here. So uh, this session, I uh, will probably share what is IDF trying to do to stop diabetes tsunami or war against the diabetes. So we'll be sharing the projects. It's uh, cooking under our umbrella and then our burner. And then uh, the presentation from Europe and Mira as well. So, yes. Well, um, after, after the explanation of the setup of the session, um, we we'll start, of course, with uh, uh, Professor Nancho. The, uh, very soon, the president of the International Diabetes Federation. Uh, we we'll speak about eye information initiatives in the years um, 18 and uh, 19. These are the two years composing the third of, of NAM as a president of uh, the IDF to, uh, the against, <coughs> to the battle against uh, diabetes. What NAM is planning to do during this term? That might be the, the spirit of the, of the presentation. Thank you, thank you, Adel. Exactly, Adel. So uh, this is the mission initiative in 2018-19 uh, during my tenure, and how we're going to battle against the diabetes, and what we're going to set up to battle uh, against the diabetes, and hopefully we could win. And I'm going to skip this slide because I uh, just, uh, my mouse not working. Okay, so I already explained it to you. The problems with diabetes is global epidemic out of control. And total number we are facing 415 million. If you look at the figure here again, in Asia part, which is what uh, Western Pacific, far right side in color, colored in blue, and southeast uh, kind of orange color, and I'm, I'm sorry, that's uh, the Middle East, and the southeast is in sort of the green color in the middle. If you combine all those uh, east, uh, the Asia part, it counts for almost 65% of total diabetes. And you have seen these top 10 countries with the diabetes. Look at the left side, China, India, and um, uh, Indonesia, Egypt, number eight, Japan, Bangladesh, six countries out of 10 is coming from the Asia. And look at the right side, there's a Pakistan now joining in into a uh, top 10 ranking. 
So if you're just combining China and India, it counts 43% of people with diabetes. And in the future, about 37.5% increment in uh, China alone, and yielding about 151 million by 2040. India, almost 80% increment, and yielding about 234 million by 2040. So, this is, uh, I don't know, I should show you this slide, but this is uh, sort of uh, embargoed until 2000, uh, November 14, but just briefly show you. 2015, uh, we reported that total number died is 415 million. But this year, we're about to report 425 million. Somebody, somebody uh, challenging me said, maybe use different methodology, so you show the increase. No, we use the exact same methodology. So showing 10 million increment in the last two years. So diabetes continues uprising scale still. Another problem area is not just diabetes. IGT, high risk population. Look at what happened in 2015. We had 318 million people diagnosed with uh, IGT. 2017, 352 million. 17 million people newly diagnosed with IGT every year. They are high risk. Okay. So our challenge is to fight against the diabetes. This is core mission. IDF has a five, four to five pillar. It depends where you're going to put the education and epidemiology to become four or five pillar. So one of the areas of advocacy and outreach and epidemiology, which included education. You know, you're all getting to the, go into the details. One of our speakers will go into the more details about this uh, program or our projects. Diabetes care, access, and prevention. And we're also going to focus more in humanitarian related issues. So let me go into the <coughs> education part. IDF School of Diabetes. And in the, the, probably most of you have seen the uh, website of uh, IDF School. It is standardized and certified course for the uh, diabetes educators, general practitioners, and special physicians. Also, we'll have a face to face meeting in, uh, locally and regionally through the DiabetePet, I'll go into it, what is DiabetePet means. Also, IDF Education Center, recognized for a face-to-face -face meeting. <coughs> also, the Education Center, they will be putting in culture and social aspect into the course. Okay. So, diabetes care and access and prevention. For the diabetes care, we'll have IDF Eye Health, utilizing an artificial intelligence-based diabetes retinopathy screening. It is already looked into it, and we identified the source. Also, diabetes food program. Uh, we already developed the, the, uh, the pocket guide, and uh, we'll uh, plan to have another poster you could put a uh, place in your clinic. And 2018, IDF uh, plan to have an IDF food uh, congress in Hyderabad in India. That will be the first one. Second one already volunteered by Louis. In uh, 2020, we'll, uh, uh, Port, uh, Portugal, will, this one will host the second meeting. And idea, idea of global access to medicine, we already conducted the survey in last year to find out the status <laughs> of the access to medicine and uh, essential uh, supplies for diabetes. Also, uh, we plan to expand this, uh, uh, conducting more surveys with uh, some of our partners. <laughs> and uh, uh, this data will be available in nice edition of the Atlas. And uh, advocacy outreach, all of you know that World Diabetes Days, we're celebrating every uh, year in November 14. But we plan to do that in year round rather than one day event. So that way we'll bring more attention from, uh, from the, the, the world community. And Blue Circle Voice, it is strive to identify and represent the interests of the people living with or are affected by diabetes and create a strong advocacy group. So regionally, each region, regional chair uh, uh, recommended some of the members. I uh, believe we have somewhere around 150 uh, uh, people in Blue Circle Voice. Another out, uh, advocacy and outreach uh, the program is uh, probably all of you know why I did is uh, young leaders in diabetes and to be a voice for the young people affected by diabetes worldwide and empower and educate young leaders below the age 30. And training, seminar, project building, activity during the World Diabetes 
Congress, we invited about 80 people uh, from uh, seven regions, and they were coming and get a proper training. Also, they did develop the project, so when they go back to their own country, they will have uh, their own project, which will be guided by uh, regional uh, the chairs and the member associations. So they will come back in 2019 Congress to present what they achieved during the two years of the time. So the format will be changing, so more of the regional uh, chair will be guiding or the, the leading them to go to do the right or proper uh, the projects. Women in diabetes new area that uh, we are disseminating to the region and the member association. It is uh, all women with the diabetes require affordable, equitable access to care, education, and medicine. This is the goal. And pregnant women require improved access to screening. So hopefully that uh, will provide a way, and way to screen all the preg pregnant women for the gestational diabetes. And women and girls are key agents in the adoption of the health life are start to improve health. And of course for the epidemiology, all of you know, uh, I have tied this uh, uh, atlas. It is released every two years. But uh, this year, when it comes to the Abu Dhabi meeting, you will receive the thicker volume of uh, a edition, which includes uh, statistics of the related to the diabetes, and also health economics, and mobility, mortality, also uh, statistics on access to medicine. This is the brief thing, it's not a detailed information. Also, we plan to partner with the uh, some of uh, our uh, industrial partners who are conducting a study, so those are uh, the, the data will be integrated in the future. If I just give, if I give you the name of this study, it's discovered. Okay. <clears throat> Humanitarian part. This is where I guess we've been missing a lot in past uh, activities. So we plan to focus a lot in uh, humanitarian action. So I have uh, diabetes disaster manager plan is one of the area. Uh, we plan to do and uh, yesterday and the uh, uh, past few days we visited a refugee, senior refugee camp with the uh, regional chair and then we, we evaluated how we want to help them and then we come up with uh, some of ideas how we could help them. One of the areas was to uh, collaborate to, to form a humanitarian action is Divitat. Divitat is synonym of, synonym of Divitat's Habitat Project. Probably all of you know the Habitat Project, which is studied in uh, Georgia, United States, and uh, Jimmy Carter, a former president, is actively involved building a house in poverty area. So it is similar things. I did try to go into poverty or low-income area or disaster area, having uh, the physical uh, the facility that people will come receive the free of medicine or the access to the medicine or care for diabetes. And which include also uh, basic patient education, also screening for diabetes retinopathy and GDM. And I'm not going to go into the IDF Life for Child program. This is the program that we pro provide the free of the insulin to in the, uh, children with type 1 diabetes. In, uh, in, um, right now, in four, focusing the advantage is focusing a lot in the Africa region, but it will be uh, disseminated in other six regions as well in the future. So let me go into a little bit more about Diabetes Center. As I indicated, the Diabetes Habitat Project, it is focused in low-income countries or middle-income uh, countries, but remote sites where they have a limited access medicine or medical care. So we plan to uh, set up the physical uh, the facility to, to provide the medicine, essential medicine, and then also face-to-face -face, uh, education to the patient. Also, it will become a disaster supporting center when the uh, times come to the disaster in the region or the country. So this is, this is, this is the way we are we send the medicine or uh, supplies to disseminate it to people affected in the region. Also, it, it's not only just uh, the medicine, but also food care because you just cannot just give them a medicine or insulin and lack of uh, food. So all those things will go into the diabetes uh, project. Also diabetes and GDM testing. Also they will, they will have all the spot testing equipment there. Glucose testing, hemoglobin A1C testing, and diabetes uh, retinopathy screening. Uh, so it is a pilot project, and then I'm going to go into why we are focusing diabetes retinopathy screening. <coughs> 
As you all know, incidence of diabetes red now is very high. Kenya incidence of diabetes red now is about 74 percent. We have an expert in ophthalmologist there. And uh, she knows the, the, the importance of diabetes retinopathy here. In patients with DR at baseline, 64% develop more severe diabetes retinopathy, 70% progress to PDR. And in patients with the young onset diabetes, the 25 incidence of DR is about 97%. So we gotta do something to save the eyes. So the focus is using our AI, artificial intelligence. So if you look at the losing eyesight and quality of life, there's a clear indication in the low part of the quality of life is related to diabetes retinopathy, 0.53. If you're blind, be eight. So we have to do something about it, stop this uh, disaster again. So IDF challenge is diabetes retinopathy screening. Please do not mix it with the screening and diagnosis. Screening, we wanted to go out massively and they have a people check their eyes. So the concept is we're going to apply the package of care, which means when patient comes to the clinic, and uh, you're going to check their blood, right? And see their glucose level, lipid profiles, HbA1c. Why not checking the eyes when they're there? Why they're there? I know if you go to, to, go to the ophthalmologist, in Korea, it probably takes about three months to go see, uh, go to see them. You got a reason to go see them. You got to have a withdrawal. But this is different concept. We want everyone who has diabetes go screen. Just check once a year. You might ask, them, "Wow, that's going to be cost a lot." I said, "No. That's why I check with uh, this uh, uh, IT company who developed nice machine. This is the example." This, this uh, machine, uh, EG scan, was developed by Australian and uh, Americans. And they are, it is about to produce in Korea because I, Korea has one of the, the top quality the lens. So the, at this uh, moment, it costs about $2,000 to, uh, to manufacture them. But I've been talking with the company. If we produce more and more, that could go down as low as $300 per unit. Okay? We can't go to do that. $300, and well, I definitely to get a grant through the maybe Gates Foundation, ask them to purchase the 10,000 of them, and we disseminate to the to the low income uh, countries or the remote sites. They have that machine. One day, once they take them the, the retina, shoot it up to cloud. Within one minute, the result comes back, saying possible or well, no. Then if uh, the, the results comes back with possible, we really refer this individual to go see the ophthalmologist. You might ask, uh, how much is going to cost for reading? <clears throat> I'm dealing with them, it'll be only one to three dollars for each reading. So we could afford to do that. Again, if we could ask uh, Gage Foundation to give us one million dollar, we could screen one million people. That's success, isn't it? Then, if we could only say, if we could save the 10% of the uh, 1 million screen, I think that's most successful project that I, I have ever done in our history. So, that is our plan. And we wanted to establish this, uh, the centers, like the center and disaster centers, in all over the world. But we wanted to have uh, central regional centers in seven regions. Some of our board members have seen it, center and diabetes center. So they, uh, they uh, agreed to, to provide this uh, facility for IDF to use, so it can be used for the nationally, internationally, for the education and training, and then storage, and so on. So this will be utilized as a logistics center for humanitarian activity. Just to show you the picture of it, it's, looks like this. It's a huge place, about 90,000 square, uh, 90, square meters, and uh, there are many facilities so within this compound. And these are sort of the things they have there. They will have an education center. There's a group meeting you could have there. And this is outside of that uh, education center, outside the building. And uh, those, those, these are some of those pictures that could stay there. So, the 50 rooms there, people come in there and they stay for that. 
So uh, this is how we want to utilize or to set up the centers. And of course, we, we could set up somewhere in refugee camp. Refugee camp doesn't have this kind of facility, but we could set up the tent. But we'll have uh, all those uh, uh, modern technology installed within the uh, camp to look after people living with diabetes. So the key message from IDF is, is again, I'll say, we, can, we gotta work together. It's not only IDF who tell you what to do. We have to work together to make IDF better and stronger. When I say IDF, that doesn't mean IDF in Brussels. All of you are IDF. You are IDF members and individual warriors to fight against the diabetes. So I ask you for the action first. Anybody who would like to apply your clinic as a diabetes center or education center, please do. We'll use life to center to help people live with diabetes. So let's do the, let's walk first, action, and let's talk later. You know, when you have some proposal, you want to brainstorm, talk each other, try to get a solution, I think we pass that. With the diabetes, we need to go into action immediately. Otherwise, we won't have a disaster with diabetes, okay? So our ultimate goal is the strength, the reason, uh, to better fight against the diabetes. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you, Professor Nan, for this nice introduction to diabetes, and I agree with him. A lot of you are on board with diabetes. Uh, he's always been a supporter supporter for the idea and the factory for the, for the mini region. Which kind of have any activity in the region? I don't know. I don't know.